What you're looking at right now is a projector screen with 720p resolution. No, this is not an old projector. This is a brand new projector that comes with 720p resolution and only 300 lumens. Hi folks, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. And if you don't know me, I am the tech DIY expert of the internet and I review a lot of tech gadgets like this one right here. We're looking at the BenQ 720p portable projector. This model is the GV30. Now, spec wise, I'm just like, what? Say what? 720p in 2022? You still making 720p? You know, so I gotta tell you, when I got this, I was not, I had to manage my expectations of what I was going to see, but I was uh, pleasantly surprised by the quality so without further ado what do you say let's get into it folks sit back relax you know how we do here at handy andy media pour yourself a cold one and cue the intro so let's begin by taking a quick look at the design of the gv30 720p portable projector by benq this is unlike any other projector that you're going to see on the market like have you ever seen anything that looks like this? It looks like a giant piece of cheese. But this design, I have to admit, is very, very functional and purposeful. Number one, you can see it's got grills on both sides and that allows the heat to dissipate and also the sound to come um, from both sides and also on the back as well. Now, what was kind of confusing when I did the unboxing, which by the way, you can watch, it's on my YouTube channel if you wanna see me unbox this for the first time is it came with this and I was like, why does it come with a guitar pick? The reason why is you actually have to open up one of these sides and you use the pick and you kind of go around and prop it open because there's an Android TV dongle that you insert right here. And that is a great thing that BenQ does with all of their projectors is that they design it so that the, the dongle is inside. You don't actually have to look at it. Now on the side, you do have the ability and you have an additional HDMI port, a USB-C and also a headphone jack. So if you wanna connect, say a gaming console, um, Roku streaming stick, which you should, talk about that a little bit later, but if you wanna connect additional things, you can do that as well. This projector, another thing that makes it unique is that it's got an internal battery. So you don't even have to have a, a power source. You can watch for about, I'd say two and two and a half hours approximately of content uh, power free. So wirelessly, just off the grid. Like seriously, you could take this camping. Maybe you have a laptop with your content on it. Connect the laptop onto the side. Boom. You can have the kids can watch stuff while they're camping. But I don't recommend it. They should do other stuff than watch stuff while they're camping. But you know, those, what do they call it? Glamping. So if you're glampers out there, uh, you have some options. Um, now, what I really like about this projector is that it comes with its own carrying case. And if you watch the unboxing, you'll see that how surprised I was that everything was actually inside the carrying case. And that makes this super portable. You'll notice that it also has this base and it's removable and there is a magnet on it and it also has the ability to mount this onto a tripod. But this base, is like one of the best features because with this design and this base and it has kind of a magnetic connection so it has a sturdy fit but look at this it is so easy to adjust the where the the image is hitting the screen with this base it's just like butter man it just i just love it i could do this all day long man rockabye baby look at that rockabye projector so from a user standpoint, this is super easy to use and to um, just function. You turn it on, it's got auto keystone, auto focus. That works actually really, really well. Better than some other brands out there. You know, Epson, talking about you. Um, and in the event that you the focus is off, maybe you're adjusting the screen, you press a button on the controller and it will focus back again. And it works really, really good. Now, in terms of screen sizes, this can do from 30 inches up to 100 inches. And the screen size that I had was probably over 100 inches and it still looked good. But a lot of people I would imagine, you know, are wondering, you know, is 720p really good? Well, 
Believe it or not, folks, I did another video of versus. I did this versus another BenQ 1080p projector, the GS50. So if you want to see, if you think that you can tell 720p from 1080p just by looking at my footage, I highly recommend that you check that video. But just, just, just to give you a little snippet, I'm going to show you a little footage here. I'm not going to tell you which one is which, but look at it and you try to tell me which one you is 720p and which one is 1080p. Really, the only difference I could tell is the colors looked a little bit different, but each screen looked equally as well. And basically what that taught me is that you can't really judge a book by the specs. You know, if, if I just looked at the specs of this, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I probably wouldn't have even tried it. I'd be like, man, 720p, 300 lumens, like come on. But I was pleasantly surprised. Now, are you going to be able to use this in the daylight? Hell no. I tried. Even in the evening time, the sun was coming down. I was trying. I was like, all right, it's getting dark. You know, that's the thing about these projectors is that you have to like wait and like when the sun comes down. And so I'm trying to see at what light is the image going to come. And when it was still light outside, I, could, I couldn't see. I could not get a really good image. But I'm telling you, man, when it got dark, I was just like, God damn. I did not expect that from the projector like this. So that was uh, a really good, pleasant surprise. So provided that you have a dark environment, this projector will shine, pun intended. Um, so yeah, yeah I, I, was, I was very impressed with that. Now, in terms of the speakers, 16 watts doesn't sound like much, but you know what? I'm gonna just show you a clip right now so you could hear how the, it sounds when you're close to the projector. It can grow to a length of one and a half meters, and it's very seldom seen in the wild. So as you can tell, it sounds really, really good, especially for that internal Bluetooth speaker. In the event that you don't want to use the projector, you can just use it as a standalone Bluetooth speaker. So it's kind of a two-in-one device, and it comes with its own carrying case. How many Bluetooth speakers do you know that have a carrying case? Not very many, so I really like that. And of course, you can carry it on the top as well with this little strap. Now, here's the thing. There's got to be cons, right? Otherwise, these people are paying me to say this. There's definitely a big-ass con, and that con is Netflix. Folks, if you watch a lot of Netflix, you are going to be disappointed because there is no native Netflix app. There are workarounds to be able to find Netflix, but really... The reason why is for some reason Netflix and, and Google got like some beef. Some Android TV dongles have Netflix, others don't. When it comes to BenQ, they don't. So if you do want to watch Netflix, you're not out of luck. My advice is get one of those Roku streaming sticks. They're cheap. You have to stick it onto the side. You might be able to get it inside and replace the Android TV dongle, but it's the power source that really makes it uh, hard to do. So maybe just put the bong dongle on the side and get your Netflix. And that's really for heavy Netflix users. But if you use lots of Google, say you watch YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and all that jazz, you're going to be able to enjoy that content on here without having a dongle. But if you want Netflix, you're going to need some uh, extra little something something to make that happen. Anyways, folks, I have talked a lot. I am very, very impressed with this projector. Do not judge a book by the specs. Do not try to use this during the daytime. But if it's nighttime, you know, for the kids, they would freaking love this. They could use it in the basement during the wintertime and then take it out in the summer. Lots to like here. But if you're Netflix, like I said, you're going to want a dongle. Anyways, folks, I'm rambling again. I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, watch the unboxing video, watch the versus video, watch the other video of the GS50 if you want to know 1080p or 720p, which one to get. Watch all them videos and then you can make a very uh, intelligent choice. If you have any comments or want my opinions, please leave that in the comments below and I will get back to you. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from Handy Andy Media, signing out. See you again next time.